Hello. Welcome back. How are you? Let's see. There we go. Just getting things set up. So I have the Instagram here and the PayPal over here. That was fun. We'll put the PayPal away for now. Welcome back. How is the audio? Good, bad, worse, the best ever. You're like, wow, I have to tell everybody about this channel. It sounds so good. Well, here you are on Pack Rat Collectibles. Just another night of sorting and selling. How'd I get there? Red eyes. This dragon hanging out with the, all the dragons. Uh, another night of sorting and selling. So, mostly just sorting. I'll sell some. But check this out. Leave a like for the new camera setup. Ooh, down top view. Let's see. Check out top down. Ooh, too shiny. Not bad. Doing some camera tests. Try to do camera setup. So now I have the GoPro from above instead of down low. So my background shot. Uh, can I switch from here? Yeah, it is now a big camera. And then I can go back to the overhead. Nice. Pikachu. It's a uh, tops animation, TV animation set. The whole set, right there, just one. Just kidding. Scratched up Pikachu. So, when we want to look at detail cards, I can be really like, whoa! Like that? Or, then I go, whoa! Check them out here. Options. We're trying things out. Leave a like or comment if it's good or bad. Any input is helpful. One of these top loaders? Grass. I'm gonna transfer some of these over to the other sleeves. But we won't do that right now. What do we want to do? Let's go to this camera. Nice. What do we want to do? Clean up the background. Ah, it's just sheep everywhere. Double. They just keep popping up. So many doubles. So funny enough, 
these sell for more than the small promos. These little guys. Here we go, where's my focus? There's my focus. So these sell for more than these. I mean, it makes more sense because it's basically full of the cards. You do the math. Math? Oh man. What else do we have? Just try to put these safely over here. Last night we pulled these two EVs. As you can expect. It was a very great ETB. Um, a whole bunch of Cinescorches. Shiny. But the VMAX though. And then the first pack of last night was a Lapras. So the Sin Scorches and Sizzlepeeds are for sale. And put them on the face sleeve. That stand is not 50 cents. <laughs> but there's a sticker. I know. Hmm. Where do I put these for now? Over here. Sure. And then we pulled a whole bunch of Victinis. This is where I need to go back to the top down. But that's super shiny. So there were a whole bunch of Victinis. It was like a Victini box, basically. Look at that. All came from one. There were like two in one pack, I think twice. dripping in the sun? Or is there a leak? I don't know. <laughs> no, just some lo-fi jams that I can finally hear on the stream. I think I've figured out the audio mix. Have I? How's the sound? Um, top loader, put over here. Victinis. I think I want to sell as a lot, you know, because they came as a group. Why not sell them as a group? You don't want to split them up. They're clearly friends. So, we'll go as a group. Hmm. Do I need a for sell box? No, I need a for sell wall. Yeah, 
Those are cool ones. GoPro, why don't you have autofocus? I think it does. There's gotta be a, a thing. Our stack of champions path and this is a stack to be sorted so is this this marowak just keeps hanging out so he clearly wants to go somewhere stuff in the front here that kind of works that's Malbo this is the lens ball Dink. Keep on the eye. Bulbasaur used eye poke. Hmm. So I did a lot today. I worked on the Instagram a little bit. I made a Discord and I started part of the web store. So I took some sample photos of the Jolteon and then once the website is live, you'll be able to go to the store and see what's on sale um, and either make purchases there or you can make purchases live while we're on stream, um, which one day I'll be able to test this QR code Ooh, to see, did I point that right? Yeah, this one is there. To see if that works, if scanning off the screen or something works. Like I imagine how I would do it would, if I had a laptop, I'd scan it with my cell phone or if I were watching on TV, I would scan it on the TV with my cell phone. I guess it's really cell phone reliant. Unless you had a laptop that you could use or a tablet that scan it. Anyway, thinking about ways to do things and things to do ways. Hey. But all that stuff is in the description too, so. And then, uh, did I add the Discord to the description? That is a good question. I don't think I did. So now, I can bring over the mouse. And check out the description. Discord, Discord. Now, that is something I forgot to do. I need a checklist of things to do before going live. because um, it's becoming quite the list of things.
<laughs> that works. So now, in the description below, down there, yeah, somewhere down here, depending on how you're holding your phone or on your laptop or whatever, in the description, uh, you will now be able to find the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, then um, you can get way more information, direct contact, be able to message everyone, uh, we'll do some trades and all kinds of information and, and stuff there. So that's new, uh, yeah, so if you want to check that out, it is in the description. I should also add it to the scroller, so it's scrolling like right, right here. Uh oh, I missed it. All right, right there. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the like. Let's see. I need to change the welcome scroller. Probably. doesn't work. <laughs> Just pasting a link. <laughs> Here, you can click this scrolling thing, right? right? No. Hmm. I'll have to rethink that one. <laughs> but I'm glad we learned that together. Hmm. Check out his little balls are. Got a tail too. So the top-down view, I think, is going to be pretty cool for when I do toy builds, because you can see everything a little better. I think. At least I hope we'll find out. Check it out. Wink. And then his friends can just hang out on top and make fun of him that he's hanging out. Well, not make fun, but like stop on his little Pokeball. Like, Guys, I'm trying to take a nap. Get off the Pokeball. It's just like because he's half asleep. That's why he's winking. So, chill stream tonight. Sorting cards. Cards are are for sale. Uh, don't have very many packs to open, so I don't think I'm going to open any packs tonight. Um, I know, big bummer. They look nice completed. Thank you. They took so long. <laughs> Not really. Like, after I got past Pikachu, They've basically followed the same format, so I picked up the pace. It did stump me. I put four feet on Bulbasaur, so I gave Squirtle's feet to Bulbasaur by mistake. I had to give him back. Bulbasaur was like, whoa, leave my feet. I like how sturdy they are, too. You kind of toss them around, they don't fall apart. That's a bonus. We'll see how 
Charmander fares. Oh, ruin the cards. <laughs> it's okay. It was just a Pikachu and a Taurus. But you got to see a top-down camera mode. How was that? See? Charmander is just still chilling. Won't do that again. Everybody's okay. Let's check out this stack. Oh, another curiosity. Now that I have a top down view. to do that well. I need more light. So if I hold the lens ball with my other hand. Too much light. Tokyo Drift over here. Ooh, making somebody dizzy. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I had it. I was trying to study. Cool idea. I'll use that to show imperfections. So is there an imperfection? I, mean, I didn't really find one. It's perfect. I guess looking through the top loader is not a great way to do it. So we already looked through these, but let's figure out which ones. Salamence. Hmm. Something's not right about this food. I don't really know how I'm sorting these right now. He's a crazy man. He didn't have a plan. He's just sorting cards. Exactly. There we go. It's all the TV animations. Two Salamences. GX evolved into a VMAX. Now the order is happening. Arceus, Dialga, uh, Palkia. Isn't that a popular one right now? In tournaments? It's 2019, so it's still standard. Do you know a yoga instructor?
Oh yes, I'm sorry I missed your top comment. These are the little negative constructs. Back to 20 years ago when we talked about that. <laughs> My bad. Hey look, I have the mouse right here and everything. So it's too shiny. I put it there because it's directly under the light. Cool. The Zorok GX is pretty mean. Look at it. It's well centered. pretty cool okay now I don't know what to do stupid top letter How is everyone tonight? The creation trio card is pretty good. Which one? Sorry. This one? <laughs> Don't even know what I have. I'm getting better. Sort of. Not perfect yet. Yeah, this is a pretty cool one. Ah, thank you for the likes. It's the top-down view. You like the top-down view, huh? <laughs> uh, we'll set that up. I want to look up the value. Ah, is that what I can also test now too? Did I set that up? There's how many Pokemon on here? <laughs> 12? Oh, I can't spell. This one handed thing is kind of one handed and I'm crossing my body. This one, Cosmic Eclipse. I think that's the one. Nope. 
so six seven bucks but I'm going to keep this one because it's tournament popular right I wish it was a rainbow secret that's cool is it also from cosmic yeah Having a full set would be nice. Right, so I have one. I'm on my way. Okay. Now if I go back to OBS. Take that away. Oh, I covered up half the card, didn't I? It's okay. Yeah, that's totally a dollar. Misty, Wick, Incineroar GX. Didn't we pull an Incineroar GX last night? Put them away. I think we did. that really stood out. I don't know, maybe they did for you. Uh, let's see what else I have to look through. What I should transfer over. Shiny. Is that better? Yes. Is this view now too far away? Because I can't zoom in and out. So this definitely needs to be transferred to a cell phone. Hmm. Whole stack. Nope, you can't see that. What if the stack is here? It's not bad. So I'm going to go through a few stacks, a few things, and transfer them over to these card grade save these, these things instead uh, of the top letters because I don't like top letters I mean I use them for shipping and safety and stuff but I like the presentation these present a lot better anywho uh, yeah so I'll be transferring a few of these over to those and then I should open something what should I open like button if you like steam siege or should I keep this one sealed I always have instant like wait and there's that scratch on the front so it's not gonna get a tin if I send it in to get graded There's a bit of an indention down the center. So it definitely wouldn't 
yeah, it's all the way down the center. Yeah, you can you can even see it in the top down view. So I definitely wouldn't get a ten. So it's not worth keeping sealed right now. Yeah, there's another little mark in the art. The more I handle it, the more it goes down in its grade. Okay, fine. I'll open it. Why is the song just a barking dog? Just to troll me? Perfect. <laughs> Let's just open the Steam Siege. In top down view, if not. I haven't named the top down view camera. Aw, oh, bummer. Should I get the seal? But maybe we'll pull a Steelix. Yeah, it's a, uh, I don't know if it's a popular thing, but um, people do, yeah, yeah, they, like, especially the older vintage packs and stuff, those are especially a good degrade. Like, I almost want to keep one of these to send to get graded, because they do look really nice sealed. I guess it's got a little dent. Probably gives. Uh, but when they get them graded, they come back in the, the plastic slabs, right? But they kind of like fold the 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 f f crimps over, so it's just the art, and it looks nice and clean. So if you can get that with like perfect tin art in a sealed case, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Tommy Zock? How's it going? We're talking about grading packs, which is a thing people do. Uh, for example, Deep Pocket, he grades a lot of packs. If you want to check out pack grading, or check out his channel, Deep Pocket Monster. How's your night, Tommy Zock? We're just opening up another pack before I get back to sorting. We'll see what I pull. Point time. Okay. Off to a good start. Just hanging out, looking out the window. Schwab. Another rufflet. Cool tangler. Ah, uh, what? So that's nice. Now we have a pair. Weevil. Cool, and then we evolved our Tangela. Right there in the same pack. Oh, Tommy Zaki, you gotta hang out a little more. I hang out, I send out codes later. Did I evolve? No, I didn't evolve. So that's cool. So now I have a combo there. Who else? 
and the combo of the Tangva evolving, which is pretty cool. Like Pyta. I mean, look. Who doesn't like Pyta? Uh, there we go. I don't want to cover up Pyta with. Let's put. <laughs> Bye. Pyta will hang out. Near. Oop. There we go. New camera angle. Him and Bus Harp were some of the coolest of Gen 5. evolution but he also looks very sharp <laughs> like you can't high-five him like it's not gonna go well okay quick steam siege am I in the Front camera, okay, so I need to change to... Aha! <laughs> Sorry for that. Did you get dizzy? Let's just go by one by one. One Pikachu. I don't know what set this is from. 2019. And we can't tell from this angle yet. Hmm. And then some general mills. No. These might. No, yeah, these are general mills. And then. This is a non hollow McDonald's Pikachu. Solo right at you. So I kept that as a group. So I don't know what to do with that group yet. Group choose. Hmm. Uh, Mewtwo from XY. I think I probably should save that one. Sleeve. Save. He's had some nice art over the years. Yeah. Pikachu gets like, he has so many cards. Especially with all the promos over the years too. I wonder how many Pikachu cards are out there. Different variations of Pikachu cards. Millions? Billions, trillions of Pikachus. That's probably not trillions. There's lots of them though. See, they do look good sleeves like that. But you can't see because of the shine. Not bad. Appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Just going through some cards. 
to get a few ready to sell. And some to grade. To then sell later? I don't know. It's definitely getting some ready to sell immediately. Cards for sale! Tell your mom. <laughs> cool. So that will definitely get a grade sleeve. Because I'll be selling these as a set. There's a, I have a few of them. I'll let those go. Woo! Terrible. Is that better? Got it. Okay. Did you buy? Set that aside. Kangaskhan. Now, they are my favorite, so I should definitely put these. As careful as I can be. The most careful. It's like heart surgery, but more nerve wracking. <laughs> See, I'm already freaking out. Ah. I got this. Sleeved. I didn't ruin the card. There's still time. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Cool. Look at that. Yeah, I don't think Kangaskhan has a Mega, which I'm like, it's so popular, how does it not? It's had GXs before, or was it an EX? Uh, I think it was just a GX, which that one I just haven't been able to afford yet because that's a couple hundred. Um, but yeah, they need a mega. I guess it's just it hasn't been in the main storyline in the anime for a while. Um, it hasn't had an episode showcase or something. So. I haven't made it into a big card. So I bet the next time we see it in an episode, we'll get a card soon. Hopefully. I'd like to see a Mega Kangaskhan. Because they're already kind of Mega. A Mega Mega. No, it doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> Ultra Mega? No. What's gonna be the next thing? Uh, right, so we have... I guess it, we're gonna follow the anime, right? What's gonna be in the show next? make sure this one's like the most crooked perfect cool there we go Ash hasn't gone back to Mayo, so that could be interesting. That's a good point. Because that would put him right through 
that region to have an, to see another appearance. Especially if he's going home to see... Oh, okay, that's why I was like... Yeah, Kalos. So if he goes home to see his mom, right? Then... He'll definitely get an appearance, I think. So, we'll put those with Mewtwo. Or, no, no, no. We'll put those in the grade box. To be graded box. We could look through that another night. But try not to disrupt that box too much. That makes sense. Should I resleeve this one? The Shining Volcanion? I know Volcanion is pretty popular. I could, sell, I could sell this one. I don't know. I don't really have any attachment to it. But I haven't played with it. Let's see how it plays. Dual Pump. This attack does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness. Oh, to two of them. Okay. Quad Smash. Flip four coins. This attack does 50 damage for each, each heads. Okay, so it plays well. That's why it's popular too. And it looks cool. You see how I just sold myself on it? Okay, I'm keeping it now. <laughs> you watched it live. I just convinced myself to keep it. All right. The Rilla Boom. Just boom. Mega Venusaur EX from XY. I think I'll sleeve this because it's from XY. XY's hot. Oh hey, yoga instructor. Uh, I have a link in the description to the Discord. You should join the Discord. And I also have an Instagram, if you're into Instagram, but you've been seeing plenty of that. Why is there a scratch? Or is that part of the art? I think it's a scratch. ball. Let's try it. Okay, so the scratch is on his like lily pad hat, right? Oh, we gotta do it backwards. Like this. Where is his head? Can you make sense yet? There's his nose. There's his eye. Okay. Where are we? This is difficult. That's why it's fun. Okay, there's his eye again. Boo! I'm a Venusaur. Uh, a little bit lower. Yeah. You see that shiny part right there? That's the scratch. It took all that effort just to show you that little on top of his hat. That see how it's all red and dark and then shiny all of a sudden? Shouldn't be there. Let me see if I can get some more light. Okay. Luckily it's pretty small. Yeah, but if you send these off to grade, they're looking for those like tiny things. They don't miss those, you know? They have way much better equipment than a lens ball. 
It's not to say lens ball is not good. They probably sc use scanners, which is something I I might try to do. I have a high resolution scanner that I could probably start using. I don't know. We'll experiment with that another night. I see another scratch now underneath the text as I loaded it in there here. Yeah. So that's an eight or a nine. But I'm not sure if I have another one yet. So if I have a better one, I'll resleeve this one. I'll resleeve the better one, obviously, and then I'll sell this one. Yeah? Cool. If I want to have a complete set from XY, then I can send off and get graded. And then I'll sell my extras. Make sense? Hope so. with this one. I don't know what to do with it. Hadarum, shiny. I do have a stack of Hadarums going on right now. I could add this to the, the combo. Some two different sets though. That might not work. Mm, the light. You're right. So I'll set that aside. DD. Hmm. It is a shiny. So is that what I can start doing is collecting all the shinies? Try to complete that set? Well, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> what shop? This is the shop. This is here it is. from XY, a reverse hollow and a hollow. Again, I don't know if I have duplicates. I'll sleeve them for now. Until I find others. Does that sound like a good idea? I think so. Hmm. Nope. It's being difficult. So I won't. Do I champ, however? So yeah, tonight just sorting, sleeving, getting things ready to put on the website, the store. I should start saying store. Store. Put it on the store. And then I can link to the store in the description. And you'll have nice high resolution photos that you can check out the cards with and be able to purchase there. Or pre purchase and then see it live, right? Because I think I'll sell packs that way. I'll list them on the store. All these type of leleis. Ooh. Yeah, I got pretty lucky with all these tapus.
Okay, fine. I'll just do all of them. That did not work. They wanted to. Oh, that's why I was looking weird, because it's in a matte sleeve. An anti-glare. I was like, why is it not as shiny? It should be way shinier. And now I know why. Yeah. Way better. I mean, matte sleeves are cool to play with, so you can actually see your cards when you're in tournaments with all the bright uh, camera lights and stuff, which I mean, I guess I have bright camera lights right now. But it's not a full stage. It's only a little desk. Anyway. Yeah. Look at that. It just makes the whole background, like... <laughs> What's that sound effect? Righteous. <laughs> That's one tapu. Four more to go. Don't for don't forget to cover up your lens ball. You don't want it getting dusty. You don't want fingerprints on your lens ball. Hey lens ball, what's up? See? Way shinier. Like, why did I why did I sleeve it that way? I don't remember sleeving it in a matte sleeve. Jeez, it's a huge difference. Anyway, I was fascinated by how well that sleeve works. You can't be mad, the sleeve is doing its job. But that was a good example of differences between sleeves. If you were here and saw the first stream when I got when I when I first got these, I was terrible at loading cards in here. Now I've I'm kind of getting the hang of it, but that first night was rough. People were like, "Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I can't watch this. He's gonna ruin the cards." I was scared too. See, it's another matte sleeve. Ah, oh, why did I put them in matte sleeves? They're gonna look so much better now. Especially once they're graded too. Ooh, they're gonna be sweet. Tasty. Tasty? Nah. Huge difference. Thanks for the likes, everyone. likes and the subscribes. 
I noticed I got like four, three subscribers last night. So they really liked the secret released leaked news from Silver Lance and I forgot the second half. Japanese Chilling Rain. Yeah, that one. You know which one. Just watched last night's stream. I need to get better about linking the previous streams and the videos. So you could just go back. And be like, oh, there it is. Quick scroll. Found it. Yeah, this one is a pretty cool shine too. Tapulele is pretty shiny. And quite the powerful Pokemon too. I have a deck of Tapuleles and Metagross GX on Pokemon TCG Online. Devastates. Because I use the Metagross to constantly get energy out of the uh, discard pile to add on to the Tapu Lele and I can do that multiple times if I have two of them like, add as the starting Pokemon or if they're on a bench or if they're both on the bench I can use somebody else and so they're just throwing energy all over the, the play field. It's great. It's a devastating deck but now it's uh, an expanded deck so you have to try really hard because you're playing with like super skilled players with decks that are just like, oh, Tapu Lele GX? Yeah. <laughs> but when it's on, it's on. Except Tapu hits hard for like 200 plus sometimes I can stack some damage. It's crazy. I knocked out full Charizard GX's and Snorlaxes and stuff. Well, I guess those are 300. But pretty good chunks with the energy dive. Because you just stack energies on Tapu Lele and then it's 20 times each energy that's stacked on there. And so in the deck I also have some double colorless energy and then my trainers and supporters are all based on draw so I'm constantly drawing my hand and d discarding my hand so I can constantly be digging for energy and the colorless energy it's great love the deck <laughs> uh, and then whenever one of my because I only have two on the online I'm trying to get more because I forgot I have at least three or four that deck would just be unstoppable it's only like two in the deck here I have five I wish I could just like add these to the online um, but so I have two and I want more because whenever one gets knocked out <clears throat> I have, I think it's, uh, it's like the rescue chair, medic, what's it called? Pokemon rescue, something, where I can pick it up out of the discard pile. <laughs> it's thick wick, that's right. Super thick. Tapu Lele's shine is excellent. Very much great. Very much wow. So just re-sleeving, you know, doing the normal. Trying to get better, trying to learn how to do things. Good to know everybody.
most importantly, getting to know myself. Because that's an important collect, uh, question, right? Is what kind of collector are you? Or how you want to go about collecting? At least that's what I've been asking myself. Like how can I improve my collecting? Because there's so many Pokemon. You're not a fan of the mat sleeves? Uh, I think the reason why people choose them is for tournament play, right? Because it also kind of feels nice. And... The shuffle, I guess, is about the same with glossy ones versus matte finish. But I liked being able to... In bright light situations, like... Let's see. I mean, you know how matte works, but it was nice to be able to be able to see the cards quicker and easier. So I kind of get it for tournament stuff, but for presentation and just looking at the cards, yeah, glossy all the way. So there's like semi matte. You can get levels of thickness of the matte finish. So like if you're somebody who does play a lot of tournaments and you're in situations where there's bright lights and stuff and having that bright light bounce back at you a lot is bothersome then those matte finish matte finishes are helpful uh, but the thickness level um, is even more helpful because you can kind of it's almost like a prescription at that point you can gauge like oh, okay I still want to see some of the shine but not blind myself all day. <laughs> right? Cause some of these tournament players are playing with these cards for like 12 hours a day. That's a lot of eye fatigue. Definitely look more into eye fatigue. You'll save your eyes so much. <laughs> it's a reminder to turn on the blue light filter. If you're watching in the dark right now, you'll get better sleep. Cool. So now I've sleeved all my tapuleles. And you're sleeping better because you turned on your blue light filter on your phone. <laughs> but don't fall asleep yet. I'm still streaming. We gotta buy some cards. <laughs> Spiro. Gambler. Fossil, jungle, fossil, fossil. I believe this is popular right now. So I'll get this ready. This was the Korean secret rare. Collecticon is coming up. I think I'll definitely be attending that. I missed the last one. I think I might try to go to this one. Oh no, it's Team Rocket blasting off again. I don't 
don't know where I'm putting these. Just putting stuff everywhere. Look at this beauty. See what I did there? Let's see. Going to play DJ for a quick second. Ah, terrible mix. I'll be a better DJ. Hey, at least you can hear music now, right? I don't know. Maybe you liked it better without music. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Got him. This is from Vivid Voltage. So this has to be pricey. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Ooh, this is hot. Oh, oh, oh. See how hot that card is? Womp, womp, womp. I've always wondered if they're going to finish making cards for Mega Pokemon who haven't got one. Well, I mean, they're just slow rolling their catalog, right? Like, we don't have to make everyone right away. <laughs> we could just take our time. But it is annoying, yeah, that they repeat. It's just like, no, give some of the other ones some love. I mean, they have plenty of time to do so. Pokemon's not going anywhere. So maybe that's their plan. Like, if things start going bad, they're like, alright, initiate phage all mega. <laughs> and they just release everything. All the cards we've ever wanted. Like, Sorry, we were just holding out. <laughs> Speak up. Thanks for hanging out. Nothing too exciting tonight. But I appreciate you. Silence on air, not for blip look. He's pretty cute and shiny. I gotta change this playlist. What do you think? Do you have any copyright free recommendations? Come on, blip look. Help me out. This DJ decided to mix in his neighbor's barking dog. <laughs> DJ Sean. Got it. I was totally on tempo and on beat. I pulled it out of the penny sleeve, why? Forgive me for the abrupt music change. Now we're, now we're in it. I have two of these left. So I need to be more selective. So definitely the executor. So put this back in the top loader. Do 
Yeah, that's something the Pokemon company has really gotten down, is making cards really pop off the screen, or off the card. Like, they know how to make things shiny, that's for sure. <laughs> Is this one hollow, or is it just the secret rare? I don't think it's in hollow. Oh, is it time to plug things? Should I plug the Instagram? Did you already see in the corner? Cool. Plugged. Like and subscribe if you don't mind. It'll help me out. And then you, today, I guess technically yesterday, uh, I created a Discord. So now there's a link in the description if you want to join the Discord. Plug complete. God of War V. I know somebody who might want that. XY Evolution and Sun and Moon had some decent reverse. Yeah, I wish I had some Sun and Moon. I had Burning Shadows. How's this pack? I'm pulling from the pile that I didn't want to pull from, right? But now I'm scrutinizing the whole collection. What time is it where I'm at? What time do you think? Nah, it's 2.40. It's late. So I don't have any evolutions yet. Um, I might be able to get some soon, but I gotta sell some cards first, because I'm trying to buy Pokemon cards with money that I've sold with Pokemon cards, right? Something I've been trying to do for a while. So, if you want to help me do that, that would be great. Um, we can do that here. We can trade cards and buy cards, sell cards. So this pack, I don't think I'll grade, because again, you see that, that line down the middle, when I get it with the glare. That wouldn't grade a 10. So that's what I need to start doing, is I'll only keep sealed ones that I know, like for certain, are going to get a 10. The pulls are always brutal in Burning Shadows. But what if this is the one? I only have one. So what if Burning Shadows is gentle? It's just like, okay, just, just tonight. I won't be as brutal. It's a volcano. It, it could, it could be volcanic. Hmm. Pulls are always brutal. I do like brutal sets. Do I sell on eBay? And there's a Discord server. <laughs> oh, and you know of a Discord server where you can post all cards for sale? Your only pack could be the pack. This is the pack. I don't sell on eBay. Um, that's something I was looking into today. Was I started with TCG Player first, and I don't know if I liked the rates that they were selling, or they were taking out of each sale. 
So I might look into eBay. So I'll do eBay paired with my store because I'm paying less fees using PayPal on my store than I would be in fees in paying TCG Player or I think eBay. I think TCG Player and eBay have higher fees than PayPal at this moment. So that would probably be the focus is try to get most of my sales to my web store. Right? Lower fees. But obviously, I think I'll sell slabs and stuff on eBay. I'll put it on the web store as well, but I'll get more traffic on eBay. So the big slabs I'm trying to sell, like this Charizard, I'll put on eBay. That looks cool. I'll put that. I'll leave this up. Sorry. Slapped Pikachu. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll put slabs and stuff on eBay, I think. <laughs> and maybe I'll start selling the completed make constructs on eBay. I'll sell everything on my store. eBay fees are annoying. I try to stay away from selling eBay on eBay as much as possible. Okay, so my prediction was correct. So yeah, um, I'll just keep working on the web store and get that nice and easy to use. So we'll just pay PayPal fees. Speaking of, we can also do it right here. This is the store. <laughs> so you can just scan and buy the cards that I'd have listed in the catalog in the web store here, live, whenever I'm live, right? Oh, thanks, you're gonna help with, thanks with Thank you for helping with promoting. That would be helpful. The web store, thank you, is something I've been thinking about doing for a while now. Um, something I've always meant to do with my photography and selling my photos. But I'm not a web designer, so it's always been a hard, a difficult hurdle to leap. Cause I overcomplicate things. I mean, I added a whole another camera tonight. Not added, but like, <laughs> I overcomplicated things by putting it above me now, you know? So, one step at a time. The web page is in process. Um, and then I think, yeah, maybe I'll figure out a way to have this QR code link to the web page as well. So when somebody scans this, it, yeah, that'd be cool. It, when, when somebody scans this, it takes them to the web store and then they pay through PayPal there. Cause it's all linked the same way. Okay, nice. So now that I've bored you enough with that, shall we open this Burning Shadows? Since Yoga and Strucker I was like, hey, Sun and Moon. They don't have any XY. That's not true, I pulled XY Steam Siege earlier. Ah. Ha ha ha. But should we see if this is a brutal Burning Shadows? Since I've just talked myself out of grading it. And I don't see any other reason to keep it sealed. Unless one of you want to buy it. And then whatever's in here is your card. Right? How much is Burning Shadows running for? How much does Burning Shadows cost right now? 
let's go to TCG player. Not bad, okay. Let's go to TCG player. And then if I say, say, no, moon, burning shadows. That's not how you sell burning. Why is this not working? It's the mini collector set. I don't want the mini collector set. There we go. Eight dollars. Does anybody want it for seven? Oh, this one? I right, get better about that. So, market price is 738. So, seven bucks. Going to the highest bidder. <laughs> oh no, should I start auctioning? <laughs> I'll sell it for a dollar. Now it's two dollars. Two dollars, three dollars. Three dollars, four. Oh, now it's uh, five dollars. <laughs> Who's gonna grab it? Now it's six dollars. Oh no, it's seven dollars. Right back to market value. You're too slow. <laughs> so to myself. Probably for like seven or eight bucks. Let's see if it's brutal. I guess I should turn off TCG player now though. Do you like my little mock auction? Mockion? Oh, it's not gonna be a hot pack. It's already brutal. Look how mean that Vail Pete is. He's like, dude, we were napping. Why'd you open the pack? Mudbury. Hey, we got some luck with the Lady Bear. And hoo hoo. Pen power. Okay, not bad. But. Persian. Kind of brutal. Hmm. Kind of brutal. You're right. So, I think we just saw that yes, it was valued more sealed than open. Unless, yeah, no. But we evolved, we learned. <laughs> Weakness policy. But we evolved our minipede to a whirlpede. Right in the first pack. Oop, there he goes. I meant to roll, right? <laughs> so I'll sell those as a combo. Nobody else? Okay. Is uh, Tommy Zock still still here? 
Yeah, it was a tough pack. You still here, Tommy Zuck? Let's see. song was kicking all of a sudden. <laughs> At least it is my headphones. It's like, whoa, that bass mix. So if we got a good subwoofer, turn it up right now. it or don't be quiet pan power huh yeah tough pack we'll put them all on sale that's gonna be a lot of inventory work I have to set up a system to make it pretty quick and painless. Almost if it was top down like this and I could just take the photos like this. Hmm. <laughs> I think I just figured it out as I was coming upon the problem. So that's not bad. Obviously I'll hold hold it. Maybe I should should I not hold it? Hmm, I'll have to figure that out. Hmm. Because I want to be real particular about those. Alright, what, 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 what now? What do we want to look through? What do I want to do? I want to sleeve. I've already looked through these. I'll look at him again. I mean, yeah, the Pikachu's and stuff, I'll come back and sleeve, but. So the problem about using copyright-free playlists is I repeat a bunch. That's okay. I'm focusing too much on... So I might want version. Focusing too much on the music, not the cards. I do like that there's more like music focused Pokemon, Loudred and stuff. That was cool to see. Yeah, Lelouch, I stay up late. It's uh, three, three o'clock here. I've kind of flipped my schedule. It'll normalize eventually. Somewhat of a night owl. There's Victinis around there. Where did I put those Victinis? Do you remember? That was like an hour ago. I'll put them on top of the Victini box. Ten. More Santa Scorch. I 
Hatterene, Hatterene. Ooh, the Genesect. I need to do something about that. Is this a Giovanni? Is that what it is? It's 3 a.m. there? Whoa. Yeah. It's kind of late. Or early. I'm just getting a really early start of the day. I'm earlier than everybody else. Early Pidgey gets the Cinescorch. That looks familiar. That's cool. So I just got the dull packs out of the way on the more chill dull night, right? We'll open the exciting packs, or hopefully open the exciting packs on those hype nights. Tommy Zock was still here, I was gonna give him a code. Like I said, I would. Tommy Zock, are you here? Do you still want code? Hmm? If you do a playback. Now he's gotta go dig for it. That's a pretty cool card. I should have probably cleaned that. And by clean it, I mean this. Oh, it's the sleeve. Yeah, I like this show, so thanks. And thanks for watching tonight. We've had a lot of consistent viewers. Appreciate. Appreciate. Yeah. Appreciate. We're going to go with that. <laughs> Cruising down the PCH. Appreciate. Just made a little rap for you while the music stopped. Are you pleased? Pleased with my rap? Because that's all you get. I can only stall for so long, music. Help me out here. Ah, you gotta love that. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We have this cool genesect to look at for a second. While I 
click over here and as soon as I click into it it's going to go back to playing isn't it this is a whole bunch of silence this is a lovely mix I mean I guess that would have been a decent time to plug and whatnot but I've already plugged so much the pattern the foiling is nice okay yeah I see now adds to the it's jumping right at you look not 3d but have they made 3d cards where you like put on 3d glasses and they pop out of you kind of like how we do vr i mean do we have vr cards yet why can't we have a VR promo set? That'd be cool. Instead of the QR codes in the booster packs, you'd get VR cards. VR QR. No, AR, not VR. Sorry. <laughs> There's so many initials. Oh, why did I do this? I don't have... They're in the other room. Charizard is for sale. It's on fire. Fire sale. Let's see. What else? So we've sleeved all those. Checked all these. We'll come back and sleeve some of those. We've looked through all these. Duraladon. Does anybody like Duraladon? Yeah, with the red and blue glasses. So they're cardboard, so you can ship them in the same box and stuff. Like a whole 3D set, a collection. Like do a themed deck with uh, a pair of 3D glasses. <laughs> So, for example, let's see. I guess technically I do have some XY evolutions. So, like, imagine this, but in the side you get uh, some some blue, ah, some red and blue 3D glasses. Here you go, Pokemon Company. Listen here. <laughs> you could put some blue and red. 3D glasses in here and do a 3D set in a theme deck. And so Pikachu could jump out at you. Hashtag Pokemon Company. But surely they've thought of that, right? I can't be the first person to have just thought of that. But if I was, you four heard it here first. You have the Mew, uh, Mewtwo version of this? Cool. How much you want for it? 10 bucks? But wouldn't that be cool? I think that's a cool idea. Put 3D glasses in here and then have like a 3D theme deck or a 3D deck. I mean, it's kind of already lined up and like marketed to, to do that already. But what do I know? Hmm. <laughs> Put that carefully back underneath here. I'll have to save that and send that to Pokemon. Like, hey guys, I have an idea. Hear me out. 3D. <laughs> They'll be like, people have been trying to do this since the 80s. Duh. That's why I'm like, surely somebody's thought 
of 3D cards before, because it's 3D's been around for a while. 3D 3D stuff has been around for a while. Do you remember those binders you used to have for like school or whatever? They had 3D front covers, and you can kind of hold it. Well, I guess it's not 3D. They would they would look like they were in motion, or they would kind of move. I guess it's not the same. Look at all these now. I think I might need to wrap up the stream and come back another night. I found this at Target so I can start taking notes now. Like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I need a, a to-do list. Well, now I can start taking notes on how to improve, on things I need to jot down, so on and so forth. Thought it might be helpful. On my Instagram, uh, here I go, plugging again. Uh, I posted on my story how I was going to do shipping. Oh, I guess that's what I could show. So this was sort of my demo, my test run of how I was going to ship things. So let me clear some cards and show you. Because I would like to get some feedback if this is a sufficient way, an okay way to ship. I noticed right off the bat. Um, the way I just did it is heavy, so I'll have to use lighter cardboard, I think. Because this, I just grabbed some extra cuts that I had laying around, and it was too heavy. It just, it's too heavy for only having three um, singles in here, right? So, I found these bubble wrap envelopes that I thought would be good to ship with, put cards into, as you can see in there. Like, looks pretty, pretty solid, right? Not bad. And then I figured I'll add to that, I'll add to the bubble wrap um, a cardboard sandwich, like many other YouTubers recommend. My shipping method is pretty solid. Thanks, man. Um, speaking of solid, I've added the tape here to make sure it doesn't move, right? So imagine this is how you get, like, I've just shipped you uh, some cards and now you're getting it, opening it for the first time. This is how I'm thinking you would receive it, right? This is, this is my demo. So, uh, do I have scissors? So if you don't have scissors, that's fine. I'm all using paper tape. <laughs> so you can easily just do this. Uh, 
make it real easy to get your cards. So, why not? We'll open up the third one too. It's just, you know. Cool. And then open up the cardboard sandwich. Sweet. So like you saw me doing earlier, I was sleeving all the cards. I might ship them sleeved like that. I might not. That's what I'm trying to decide right now. Because just with three singles, that's already kind of heavy. But I guess that's how heavy things are going to get if I ship them in top loaders too. So I don't know yet. So I'm trying this for now. So after the cardboard sandwich, you'll get you'll see your cards. You'll have your singles in these sleeves. And I've taped all the sleeves together, but also protecting them with some energy. So I might add another energy or two, just to thicken the protection. But I thought this might be, I've seen this used before, so I wanted to reinforce the plastic some, because even if this whole bag gets dinged, right, it's going to have to work through the bag, through the cardboard, through the energy card, and then through the plastic, through the penny sleeve, eventually to the card. Right? Um, and then for those particular, for these particular orders, or for every order, I'll try to stack it to where the most expensive card is in the middle, so that they're protected by the other cards just like any other booster pack is done, right? So you know the card trick? Um, three to the front, three to the back, whatever it is. Um, that's numbered that way because they're protecting the most expensive cards in the pack, right? They're putting those in the middle of all the other cardboard. So just like I'm doing here, sharing this information to, for everyone, I'm putting the most valuable cards in the middle of all the cardboard and protection. Uh, so yeah. So then, here's the test. I haven't tested yet. Is getting the cards apart. Oh my. After, sorry, the music just like. Because nobody cares about this right now? No, I care about this. So I'm gonna skip ahead. Because this is not good. Sorry to bore you, but I want to be thorough with this so that everybody knows I'm going to be very delicate and very careful about sending cards to you because I don't want them to get damaged. I care about cards and I care about you. So with that being said, I'll even go to the extent of giving courtesy tabs on the tape so you can pull the tape off and get everything free and see your cards, like, oh cool, they're safe, right? So again, courtesy tabs up front. You can reveal, hey, everything's safe. Whose cards are these? My cards are here, yay, they're safe. So then you take everything off with the courtesy tab. Real easy, see, nothing's getting hurt. And then there's one more up here with the courtesy tab. There you go, all the tape's off. And then you have your cards. So ideally, that's how I want you to receive your cards. Safe and pristine. Right? So let me know in the comments if that's a uh, good idea, bad idea, if there's ways I can improve, I don't know, let me know. Um, yeah, maybe I'll give away some cards so I can test some shipping. 
right? Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. So I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed everything. Hope we all learned some stuff. And I'll see you on the next one on Pack Rat Collectibles.